He comes from a land down under, and now he's signed for Sunderland. He comes from a land down under, and now he's signed for Sunderland. Yes, Billy Ryder signed for Sunderland today. Absolutely fantastic news. We needed this centre back back at Sunderland, and he's back. It's a right on move from Phil Partinson. Well, I'm a little bit peckish before I did this video, so I had to have me Chinese. And here's a bit of footage of the Chinese, absolutely beautiful Chinese from Framwell Gate, Miller. Take a look at this, baby. Only halfway through this beautiful Chinese. Oh, delicious. Ooh, well, you know, when you have a Chinese, it makes you really thirsty. So I haven't had much drink this weekend. Only two cans last night. Two cans on Friday night. And I'm having two cans tonight. They don't call me two can Terry for no reason. Absolutely brilliant news. Sunderland have signed Bailey Wright today to go along with Adrian, Adrian O'Brien. Two players we've signed so far and for me it's looking good, it's looking bright. Now the reason I think why we're signing these players now is because we are so close to having new owners. We will have new owners before the start of the new season. So before we delve into this video I'd like to say I want to give a shout out on Instagram to Kieran McCaffrey. He's been asking for a shout out for a while and I keep forgetting to. Sorry, Kieran. There you go. There's your shout out. So, we have signed Bailey Wright today. Now, for me, Bailey Wright is a fantastic player. Born in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Six foot tall centre back. For Preston, he played 178 games and scored eight goals. <clears throat> 179 games and 8 goals. Bristol City, not so prolific in the goal scoring, but it's the defence that we're all about. And he's played 72 matches at Bristol City and scored one goal. Then he came to Sunderland on loan last season, and we all knew. I mean, at first I was a bit dubious when he was brought straight into the side. I think it was against Tranmere. And he had a couple of chances of scoring a goal, and he fluffed his lines. And I was thinking, well, he's a centre-back, defend. And that's what he did. Five out of six clean sheets we kept with Bailey Wright in our centre defence. Central defence, or should I say. <clears throat> so now, with John Willis, Tom Flanagan, and now we have Bailey Wright, our centre backs are in place. We do need, though, a couple of backups just in case we get a couple of injuries. Now, people are saying Bailey Wright's injury prone. Now, he's 28 year old. He's going to be at the peak of his powers, the peak of his, you know, his ability, his fitness. He's just getting over an unfortunate accidental injury. He jumped against at Oxford and he landed unorthodox on his ankle. That can happen to anybody. It's just one of those things that was blown a gear that day. He may have misjudged his jump and he's landed wrong. That put him out for the rest of the season. Unfortunately, that stopped us from getting to the playoffs last season. That was the reason why, for me, we wouldn't have shipped three goals against Bristol Rovers if we had the centre-back. He's, you know, he organises defence. He's a leader. He's a strong-willed individual. And when he came into the side, he made it look so simple to defend. And that's what we need, to keep clean sheets. You cannot win games. For me, you're going to keep clean sheets. You've got to keep clean sheets because we're always going to score a goal in League One and then you get your three points. So those three central defenders... Couple of backups. Now, left back, we do have. <clears throat> oh, dear me, how. <coughs> I don't know what's going on. So, where was that? Right, left back, we have Denver Hume. We need another left back. Another left back brought in to protect Denver Hume. To, to you know, give him a rest every now and again. If we're, caught, if we're leading the game very comfortable, bring him on. Rest Denver Hume, but we need battle for Denver Hume. And on the right hand side, we've got Loco 09. Loco 09 is an unorthodox right back, it's not a real right, right back. But we do have Conor McLaughlin if he's still there. Now, for me, Loco 09 has done a good job at right back, and it's probably going to be his own this season too. But we do need cover there as well. So, two centre backs, and we need another goalkeeper just in case. So that's what we need. Just a couple of centre-backs, a right-back, a left-back and a new goalkeeper. Are we going to get those in in time for the new owners coming in? I'm not sure. But it's looking bright. You know, it's looking good. Phil Parkinson is now finding the players he wants to bring in to mould his own team. <coughs> Pardon me. The system he's going to play. We all know he plays as three central defenders. 
and the wing backs. So, for me, we're going to have 100% new owners at the start of the season. I'm not putting the mockers on it. That's what we're going to have new owners in. Stuart Donald is, is, is bolstering up his squad. He's getting the squad there ready. He, he'd be saying to the new owners, we're in talks now. I'm going to make sure when you take over, you're going to have a good squad to win this league. You're going to have a squad capable of almost winning this league. Top two will be, will be spot on. So that's for me. So he's going to keep on bringing in players and the new owners are going to say, look, we need this squad up and running, fit as a fiddle. We need all these players gel together before the new season starts. So he's going to bring in more players, what Phil Parkinson wants, because he knows he won't be paying for them. In the long run, with some sort of clause saying, right, I'll bring in the players, but obviously the new owners are going to, they're going to take the, the brunt of, of, of bringing in the players. I mean, some of them are free transfers. We might buy one or two, I'm not sure. But yes, 100% new owners will be in before the new season starts, I'm confident, and we're barely right. I seen a vehicle today. I was I just finished playing golf, seen a vehicle today, and on the side of the vehicle it had barely wrote on it. Now for me, that is an omen. I'm barely right. Obviously Aiden Aiden Aiden, Aiden O'Brien as well. I'm not quite sure about Aiden O'Brien, but this for me says that Stuart Donald is on his way out. Stuart Donald is gonna sell the club before the, the new the new season starts because he won't leave the new owner with no with not with no squad so he's bringing in the players he's basically probably in talks now saying look at i'm going to strengthen the squad i'll strengthen the squad obviously you're going to be paying the wages i'll leave you with a team that can win league one and i really hope next season we can push for the top two i do i think if we can get a couple of another four or five good signings for phil pattinson the players that phil pattinson wants we could push on to win next season, League One. So there you go. Good news today. We're signed Bailey. Signed Bailey, right? Which I'm absolutely over the moon. And th there's a vehicle over there that has Bailey wrote on the side of the vehicle. What's the chances of that? That's a good omen. That's a good omen. Bailey, right? Can take us back to the championship next season. So hopefully when the new owners come in, you know, it's only, I'm hoping this is only going to be open up for Sunderland, right? It's just like I said, it's a short video. I'm over the moon. Bailey, right? come in. We've strengthened the squad and that Bailey over there on that vehicle, that's an omen. We're going to win the league next season. Come on, Sunderland. I, was, I just finished playing golf, seen a vehicle today and on the side of the vehicle, it had Bailey wrote on it. Now, for me, that is an omen. Absolute omen. Bailey right coming to Sunderland. For me, we are going to finish in the top two. I'm feeling pretty confident if we get the new owners in who have passion, who have the want, the will, the drive to win, to be winners, not just to, to make it as a business, but they're putting the money in because they believe in Sunderland can get promoted to the championship. For me, it has to be promotion to the championship. The new owners will automatically make a lot of money by just doing that. So Phil Parkinson's getting his ways, getting Bailey right in. I thought, I thought we we're going to let this slip. I thought he was going to go somewhere else. I'm disappointed. But like I said before, people are saying that he's injury prone. But when you're 28 year old, you've got to be at the peak of your fitness. Got to be the strongest you've ever been. When I was 28, 26 to 28 was my best years. Physical fitness for racing. So he's the same. A bit of luck. No more unfortunate injuries. For me, he looked strong. He didn't look like picking up an injury in those first five games. We got clean sheets, five out of six. It was just an unfortunate accident that happened. To nobble him, to take him out of the game. And that's where it goes. But he's come back. And he wants to, he believes in Phil Pattinson. He believes in the Sunderland fans. He says it's a fantastic place to play. He says Phil Pattinson, he believes in giving, he wants the players to give them all on the, on the pitch. But who doesn't? Every manager wants their players to give 110%. So the day is good news. We brought in Bailey Wright. Let's get one or two more acquisitions in the next few weeks. So when the new owners come in, they just hit the ball running. And that's it. Fantastic news. Please subscribe to this channel. It's much appreciated. And like I say, like Elvis Presley once said, you can't help falling in love with Sunderland. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And we'll see you later on. And hopefully we'll be getting more signings. Mamma mia. As the river flows, surely to the sea, darling, so it goes, something's worth meant. To be here. Take my hand.
Take my whole world to For I can't help Falling in love with you <laughs> Like a river flows Surely to the sea Darling, so it goes some things are meant to be e <laughs> take my hand take my whole life too for i can't help falling in love with you for I can't help falling in